Hello everybody, this is Pope Shizzle. Welcome back to the channel. I've got two games for you today. All, uh, both games are going to be involving the same vehicle, the Leopard 2A4 of various skins. So this one we've got the STRV 121 and the Leopard 2A4 finish. In the second game we're going to have the Leopard 2A4 Panzer Battalion 123 in the German train. So we're starting off this game. I like to start on the east spawn from this side of the map and go down this main road and kind of control access across. A lot of times you can get an early shot on a guy peek in this corner right here, like we do with this 272, and with guys crossing over from their spawn to go seaside. So the T-72 there, we've hit him once, crippled him, and now he's dropped smoke, so we're just trying to figure out where he's at to get a better shot. So hit an upper front plate, so we'll aim the lower a little bit. That's a kill. And there's a guy spotted here trying to cross. There he is, other terms. Put a shot into him. Driver breach. He's no longer a threat. Take our time, kill him. Looks like this area right here is quieted down a bit, so I'm going to take a right-hand turn, come across and see if we can help some guys contesting the B-cap. So the CV-9105 shot somebody, there he is, it's a Chinese. ZTZ-96. We'll try to back up and help our wolf pack, but he dies to somebody. Not sure where that shot came from. So we'll back off, live to fight another day. see anybody here so let's uh, slide over into the B cap itself and start the cap. These little uh, white buildings here are destructible so what I like to do is um, either from both sides is demolish these buildings and you can get shots on people coming through who weren't expecting them like that guy. I missed him. It was a T-72. Not completely sure where he went cut to his right, or if he's going through the building right there. Looks like he might be going through the building, but he's not coming all the way through. Can't see him. So we're going to go ahead and push through the building, see if we can flank him. And this is what happens when you don't look at both directions when you cross the street. There's a couple guys up there that I didn't see, and there's going to be a... Uh, Fast-firing guy, QN-506, killed me from the right-hand side. So we're going to respawn in the finish 2A4. Same side. So we've got the C cap, A is contested, and they've got B. So we're going to make the same approach. Look for targets of opportunity crossing. So I see a barrel sticking out, and it's a T-72 of some kind, or it's a T-64 rather. Got shot from the right, it's a T-72. So we disable him, and second shot, kill him.
Wait a second. Did that just turn? That changed. That T70 or that T64 just turned into a Sprat. That was kind of funny. So we'll finish this track repair with help from a friendly. Everybody. So they've got control of the B cap. I've got no idea what's in this middle courtyard here, so I want to be a little careful coming through here. If somebody pops smoke, there he is. And we got a QN506. I don't remember if that was the guy that killed us before, but if it was, good riddance. If it wasn't, I'll take the kill anyways. There's a T72 there. Driver port shot disabled him. Lower front plate killed him. So we'll pop up onto this little elevated park here and jump into the B cap to decap it. So at this point, I'm sitting on seven kills. Pick up a crew member while we're here. It's always good to have four. And a BMP-3 has just killed some guys behind us. So we see him there, but I can't kill him because I don't have the gun depression, so we had to turn. Got the BIMP. We've got control over all three caps. Like I said, I'm not sure where the enemy team is, so I'd like to be a little careful. They've got somebody on the sea cap. Here's some engine sounds. Don't know if it's a plane or that A5 that just flew over. It's definitely a tank engine. So at this point, we're going to head back over to C, because I know there's somebody there. And there he is. ZLT-11. I believe that was uh, kill number nine. So I'm going to make my way over to the sea cap. At this point in time, I'm really close to a nuke. I think I'm one kill or one cap away from it. Although it doesn't look like there's going to be enough time to drop it. Get 
shot from the front. There he is. And I didn't use the rangefinder, flubbed the shot. And uh, he's going to kill me. It's just a matter of time. The engine is burning! The running gear is out of order. Yep, I'm dead. That's game over. We won. But, uh... When you die at the end and you can spawn a nuke, you might as well do it. Even though I know I'm not going to get off the runway. So there's that match. We won. Heavy Metal Hero. Nine kills, three cap. And an almost nuke. 87,000 lines. 10.5k research. So move into the second game here. And uh, again, this is the Leopard 2A4. Same exact tank. Just a different skin in the German tree. So this is a small map, one cap point A in the little village. So what I like to do is come over where the A cap normally is and try to get a little bit of a flanking position on the high ground over here, get people on their team streaming into the A cap. So we missed somebody crossing right there, but we know he's there. Can't really see because of the smoke or somebody. Got somebody there. Take that train. The driver for a kill. Here's somebody just right behind me, but he doesn't seem to know I'm there. So we'll be sneaky quiet. Turn around. Kill him. Well, didn't kill him. Yay, Russian fuel tanks. My poor friend Lenny. telling you that's the Russian bullshittery that I've talked about in previous videos shoot a perfect shot right in the side that should have been a kill shot and it got ate by a fuel tank that Russian diesel is the best armor money can buy so we kill a Bradley beacon here's a leopard beacon he's dead too and there's somebody else up on the ridge so we'll pull up Striker, that's six. There's a guy there. I'm trying to finagle a shot into him. Right through the butt, T-80U dead. Thought I heard somebody behind me, so I don't want to clear my flank. There's somebody right there. Yeah. In hindsight, I probably should have gone left to find this guy. But there he is. Another TDU dead. Still got some guys. There's somebody running up the ridge. A couple guys. Looks like an Abrams of some kind. There's somebody up top, but he just got killed. Let's keep 
So I've still got that Abrams up there. Every once in a while you can see his barrel pop out. Striker got killed crossing. There's that barrel again. There we go, finally. M1A1. That's nine kills. So that's going to be the last kill of this match. I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, Leopard 2A4. I know a lot of people do it at the beginning, but I'll do it here at the end. Um, it's a great vehicle. It's 10.3 battle rating and realistic. Um, if you're on the German team, you can get two of them. One tech tree, one premium, the one that I'm in. Swedish have two as well. One Finnish and one Swedish. It's got 120 millimeter cannon, fire and DM33, so you've got about 420, 430 pen um, at, at 10 meters if you're shooting a flat surface. It's a great round for this battle rating. You're not going to have any trouble killing anything with it. It's got really, really good mobility. It's about eh, 55, 56 tons on a 1500 horsepower engine. So you've got really good power to rate. The armor is good enough. As you can see here, I just tanked a shot to the face from something. Can't really see what it was. So we'll back up. Do some repair work. So their team's just about gone. Their ticket's bled out. So we've got a survivor, Heddle Meta Hero. Nine kills. All in all, an excellent game. And on the stat screen here, 98,000 lines, 10,700 research. And that's the Leopard 2A4. Um, if you like the content and want to see more, please like and subscribe. Uh, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.